How do you make a part three cupola of, well, you, first of all, you don't zoom in like crazy. How do you make a part three cupola video exciting and entertaining? I don't think you do. I think you just grin and bear it. What is that? Oh. What is that? Oh. What is that? Oh. The day has come, part three, cupolas, hot, sweaty clothes is here. It is 90 something degrees, it is like 80 something percent humidity, it is ridiculous hot here. But uh, we are doing part three of the cupolas, we are setting cupolas. So let me uh, show you a little bit about what we've done so far. I'm a little bit late getting the camera on. We, uh, I need to show you and zoom in real tight on the flashing that happened before they set this, the cupolas, and he's getting ready to set a base right now. So let me do that and you can kind of see what he's got, what he's got going on from the ground here. Hang on. Okay, so right now they're working on the flashing that goes around the kick out, the kick up, whatever you want to call it, the saddle for the uh, for the cupola bases to sit on. That right there is um, framing that's been blocked out of the roofing system and it's turned up 90 degrees and then we turn up flashing up its edge 90 degrees and then it comes out onto the roof so it's one seamless piece of flashing that uh, doesn't allow water to get back in there. So then they've got the foam strips as you've seen on all the other flashing applications between there so that no water can blow back up underneath as well because of the seam, the rigid uh, metal, the ridges in the metal. So he's working on it up there. Something must be a little bit big to make it fit because he's getting ready to set that base that you see right there on top of that hole. Just like they've done right there. So he's doing that right now. Let me run inside and show you a little bit of prep work that went into the bases before uh, they were ready to set. All right, you see these triangles on the floor? That is because we cut them out of the base. This is a base that's gonna sit down on the roof. It's up on its edge right now. Let me flip it over so you can kind of see what it'll sit like on the roof. <clears throat> so there's the roof pitch coming in, going back down. Um, we just measured that out. The, the guys didn't really know how to use a speed square, so they just went old school. And this is pretty smart. You can see their lines. So he wasn't lying to me. I thought he was kidding at first. But he said, hey, how do you find the pitch on these things? How do you do it? You were a framer, right? And I said, well, I framed a couple of summers, but I would just use a speed square. And I laid the speed square down on the side, and I showed him how to find the four on the on the, on the the degree angle for the for the roof pitches on the speed square and showed him all that and he goes oh and i said well what did you do and he said well i measured over 12 inches and i went up four and i said well you can do it that way too but you can see where he measured measured all that off and uh, that's how he found his pitches but um either way it works and either way that's what we got going on uh so those bases will sit down right over the top of it they're three piece as you've seen in the other two cupola videos there's the base there's this middle section, and then there's the top. Uh, the only thing that has to be done different to the tops that you haven't seen, and I did this this morning, is I had to install what you just saw me pick that thing up by. So we've got a spire that's going down over the top of this. I'll show you it in a second. And it had to go through that hole. This one, the hole wasn't big enough, so I had to do a little bit of trimming with the snips and then I had to uh, secure it from the underneath side. So let me go grab a spire and I'll show it to you and then I'll show you the, uh, the big Mac Daddy cupola as well because it's kind of all geared out. I don't know that you've seen that either, so hang on. 
So there you go, there it is. Uh, all geared out with the, when I say geared out, I just mean the spires put on it. And then so you'll have this system that sits on that, that sits on the bases that you've seen up there so far. So now let's go look at the big boy. All right, there it is. There's Mac Daddy. So um, there it is. My parents had that uh, custom made Star of David with a cross above it. Um, it's the weather vane. But that thing's ready to go. I don't know that you've seen it all kind of assembled. Um, its base is over there on the other side with the windows and the glass in it. So we're actually going to have to use the tractor to uh, raise that up because this one's such a monster. And all of the components had to be put on uh, before we set it up there because the guts were um, a little bit more complicated than everywhere else. So... That's what we're doing right now, and uh, or today. It's really hot, uh, like I said. So there's other stuff going on up here, but Daniel's up here working, doing the masonry. But I told you I'm not going to do another more video on that till he's done, because there's really nothing else to show you, and he'll be done quick enough. So we'll do that. Um, and so after the cupolas go on, after today the the metal guys really are going to be done except for maybe maybe a couple of uh trim issues that we've got that we're changing out so besides that metal will be done today so let's get after it it's hot i want to get done um so we can go back to the air conditioning so we'll see you uh, whenever we start putting these things together all right and here they are with the uh the bases and the center section put on they just put that one on they're getting ready to screw them all off and so uh, for these two all they lack is the uh, copper tops exciting stuff how do you make a part three cupola of, well you, first of all you don't zoom in like crazy how do you make a part three cupola video exciting and entertaining I don't think you do I think you just grin and bear it we are putting up the base and the center section onto the first section of roof right now using the tractor. Um, they are going to muscle it up from there to where it goes. Now we are taking off the uh, copper top. There they go with that. Let's uh, back up and get a better. There they go. They got the center section on it that's all purdy. Focus on that. They look good. Let me go park this tractor and get out and get you a better view from the road and from the disc from uh, from the garden. And then the horse paddock. This piece to right there. Back shoulder. Oh crap, heads up. That one was way off. Way off. I'm not a good quarterback. Nope. Is that gonna be thick enough? Right. You want to put it like that or you want to make it smaller? Is it too big? Yeah, it's real big. Okay. I gotta play the wind. Oh, you could have made an effort. Okay, we've done a lot of things out here. Uh, clearing land, building the barn to the point we've built it to so far. And, uh, and just, you know, seeing the progression and things changing often. I was going to say every day, but it hasn't gone fast enough to say every day. Often, um, seen a lot of change. 
This, what I'm getting ready to show you, is by far the best improvement, the best thing we've done up to date. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of a all over view of what the barn looks like right now, but uh, or at the end of it. But um, this, we'll leave it right here. I'm going to sign off right here. Um, this uh, these cupolas just set off this barn like crazy. It is unbelievable. I'm standing in the paddock right now. Um, I'll show you uh, video here, and then I'll show you a just like I said, just kind of an all over view. Um, and then if I get time, I'll fly the drone, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to do that or not. So, in fact, I won't, cause it's not with me. So I'm gonna show you, uh, show you this, the view of these cupolas, and then I'll show you an all over view, and then I'm out of here, cause it is smoking hot. Uh, it rained, just rained, and the humidity is like 97%. It rained all morning. It's just awful, awful, awful hot out here. So I'm going to show you this and uh, I'm going to get. So until next time, we'll see you up on the ridge. There's the first cupola. It's pretty. There's the second cupola. It looks pretty in the back. And then there is the big boy. The mother load, the big cupola, it looks amazing. Look how good that thing looks. The weather vane spinning up top with the wind. The uh, directions aren't set right yet, but oh my goodness, that looks good. Now, check this out. Look how good this freaking barn looks. It's unbelievable. The rock up here with the cupolas up top now, the, all the white trim being finished off. This thing looks ridiculous. What is that? Oh. What is that? Oh. What is that? Oh. Alright, now we're standing in the garden, giving you a view of it from over here. It is just incredible. It is ridiculous good looking. Too bad this truck and trailer's here, but I mean, those cupolas look so sick. So sick.